Knockout space is defined as any area that is created using negative space. This negative space is where the color of your garment will show through. For example, this smiley face's eyes, nose, and mouth are the color of the shirt showing through the black ink printed around it. If the knockout space is not at least two points, it may fill in with ink during the printing process. This may also occur between closely spaced letters or when thin lines are placed closely together in a design. To check your knockout space, create a two-point line. See if the line will fit within or between any knockout areas in your image. If it doesn't, your image will need to be adjusted. Oftentimes, advanced editing techniques will be required to fix your art, and in these cases, a professional graphic artist may be needed. With that said, here are a few easy techniques that you may find useful when preparing your art for printing. If your knockout issues are caused by objects being too close together, simply move the objects further apart to ensure that there is at least two points between them. We drew a two-point blue line here for reference. Here we select the circle with the selection tool and nudge it slightly to the left using the left arrow key. If your art contains holes or areas where the original garment color will show through, you may be able to simply enlarge the holes. First, select the object using the Pick tool. Switch to the Shape tool. Click on one of the nodes in the knockout area and hold Shift while selecting each remaining node in your knockout object until all have been selected. Now select Stretch or Scale nodes and drag from the corner of the design while holding Shift until your knockout area is at least two point thick. Some objects cannot be scaled without distorting the design. This is true of the smile on the smiley face in this design because it is thin and making it large enough to meet the requirements will distort it. Other times, an object will be so complex and contain so many small areas that it is impractical to resize them. For these instances, the following technique may help. Note that this technique only works well with single color designs and will not work with all designs, especially when those also contain thin elements. Select the object you would like to edit. Now add a thin outline by right-clicking on a color that contrasts with the color in your original design. This colored portion will soon be subtracted from your design to create a thicker knockout space. Adjust the point size of the outline until all areas will have at least two points of knockout after the outline is removed. Be sure your object is still selected. Then go to Arrange and Convert Outline to Object. Now open your Shaping palette by clicking on Window, Dockers, and Shaping. Switch to Trim, uncheck both boxes, click the Trim button, and click on your design. Your design should now have proper knockout, although you may wish to edit areas that have been altered too much. For example, a side effect of this activity shrunk the head and enlarged the eyes and nose of the smiley, so you may wish to edit these after this operation. See the Fix Fonts That Are Unprintable in Corel Draw video for more information about fixing knockout issues that commonly occur with fonts. To review, be sure all knockout in your design is at least two points. Try using a combination of Expanded Stroke and the Trim tool to enlarge knockout areas in your design. Pro World Custom. Produce your own custom transfers at pwcustom.com.